Welcome back. The COVID-19 pandemic has weighed heavy on the entire world, and while many people have been able to work from home, that is not the case for first responders. Six News reporter Nikki Latarulo spoke with Temple firefighters about how the virus has impacted the way they do their jobs. To describe the COVID-19 pandemic as stressful is an understatement. When you know there's an inherent danger that, uh, you know, it, it does weigh heavy on you. Especially for first responders who are constantly interacting with the public and are doing their jobs the same way they were before coronavirus hit. We know that the probability of us getting it is going to be high. Firefighters have adjusted protocols to limit exposure and spread of the deadly virus, but Brandon Fulcher, Temple firefighter and paramedic, says they aren't fully protected. The main thing that uh, concerns us is just if we run or come in contact with someone, we don't know they have it, and then it turn out that they do, you know, we go already go home and spend time with our family. Are we spreading this to our families? While the numbers continue to rise, so does the stress and emotional impact of responding to the pandemic. But as first responders, Temple Fire PIO Santos Soto says this is what they signed up for. We know there's risks to being a firefighter and, and going out on calls. And while it might not always be a virus, that's what this one is now. The city of Temple has resources available for any first responder struggling mentally. Employee assistance program that if you, you have some stuff weighing heavy on you or you just need to talk to somebody, uh, those resources are out there and readily available to us. In Temple, Nikki Latarulo, 6 News. Now, federal lawmakers are also listening to concerns regarding mental health and they're starting to act. The HERO Act provides mental health resources for firefighters and emergency medical workers, including funding for peer counseling.